draw this part. Uh, you have basically, let's say you have a container, and in that container is mercury, and there's 15 grams of it. It starts as a solid. And then you're warming up that solid, and then that you got to go through the solid liquid vapor line. So it melts, essentially. Then you warm up the liquid. Then you go through the liquid gas vapor line, so it boils. And then it looks like we're not warping up the, the vapor at all, because the boiling point is at about 25. And here's the melting point, minus 38 and our start point minus 50. Okay? So we're basically, we know for this to happen, I have to put in heat into the system. And the question is, how much heat do I have to put into the system? Okay? So you could write it like this. sum of the Q's equals zero, equals the Q of the heat, basically how much do I have to heat it up? And then all the other Q's to make this happen. So, plus, now we're going to have a lot of Q's, other Q's to make this happen. So I have heat to go in, but we need to figure out what the other Q's are. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and I'll label these. This is the solid part. This is the liquid part. So, we have a Q to warm up the solid. Okay? So I'll put Q solid. That's to warm up the solid up to here, up to the melting point. Then, I have a Q to warm up the liquid from the melting point up to 25. Okay? So that's to warm up the liquid. We have another Q. Anytime, remember, that there's a phase change or a reaction or we mix things, there's an additional Q for that. And so notice there's two phase changes here. One here to melt and one here to boil. So two phase changes and there's two that are temperature changes, the solid and the liquid temperature change. So we need a Q uh, melt. This is melt, plus a Q of boil. So we got Q for the heat that goes in, Q to warm up the solid, Q to warm up the liquid, Q to melt, and Q to boil. Okay, so this is chapter 7 thing, they put it, chapter 7, chapter 12, mixed concept. Okay, so again, the Qs came from whenever there was a temperature change, or, in this case, a phase change. So every Q's got to have a term. Basically what you're going to say is, all this equals zero, right? So Q of the heat, that's what you're solving for, how much heat to put in, is minus Q of the solid, plus Q of the warming up the liquid, plus Q of melting, plus Q of boiling. It's all that stuff. 